guys, welcome back. Uh, we got a major update. We're heading to uh, the chassis stop again. Um, I live about an hour and a half away from there, so we're heading to Toronto. But uh, they sent us some pictures. I posted some on Instagram. Uh, by the way, my Instagram uh, is below in the description if you want to follow me there. I typically post anything, uh, any pictures that I get, I just post them right away there. But uh, if you like this series and what we're doing with the car, subscribe uh, to the YouTube channel hit that button and hit the bell so you can see them right away but uh, I'll show you what we got going on all right let's check this thing out here it is let's see what we got chop pieces on the ground so these pieces here, how much were they, Karam? 55 pounds? 55 pounds each. 55 pounds each. So there's 110 pounds there on those two pieces. But here's basically the first part. My goodness, look at that. We put the wheel there just to give you an idea of the stance. That's about where it's going to sit. It can't go all the way out because you won't be able to remove the wheel, but it'll be around there. This is just to protect the paint, it's just the cover there, but yeah. So we got the whole cage in there. We got Mr. Mr. Ronnie here. The mastermind behind the chassis stop. They completed a part of the floor. So as you see, there's a new mid plate. So the mid plate will have to be trimmed here. There will be bars in the back that are going to support it. And those two bars are coming from the back. They're going to connect. That's what's going to support the the control arm there because we removed uh, that piece which is the rear part that's about 25 pounds so we removed that rear piece of the subframe but uh, yeah we got this 24 by 24 mid plate to support the engine wow that's crazy beautiful I guess he's measuring the the upper arm there yep yeah, so basically here we're gonna have this is where the anti-roll bar will go this is where the shock is going to mount that's why all the strength over here because when the diff pushes up on the shock this is where it's going to be supported then we'll have the four link bars there and this is about uh, the space that's going to be here so you can put kind of you know a 14 Probably a 33 by 14 tire can fit in there. But look how much room. There's a ton of room. Yeah, so now this whole body is going to go up. So the cage will go down, the body will go up, and then we're going to go into those itty gritty little pieces there and cut whatever parts we don't need. So if you look here, Look how many plates you got here. You got one, two, three plates. There's two here. There's three here. You know, two here. You got a bunch in the front. Like if you look at these pieces here, you got two here. So this piece, one of them can remove. And uh, we'll probably go over all these little parts here. Like look at all this stuff. So all these little small pieces to get rid of all the weight, so up here. But just to give you an idea how many plates are on top of plates here. This is where the four link bars will go. Crazy. He's working on uh, the diff itself. So this is the one that'll be going in next. He's working on the four link brackets. Yeah, so this piece here, very heavy, and then a the bunch here, 55 pounds each side, so 110 pounds, it's crazy. 
So yeah, so it's looking good. Um, give these guys a follow. Chassis Stop, I'll leave the link below. They have Instagram, they have Facebook. I'll leave the phone number so you can call in and uh, subscribe for more updates. All right guys, take care.